There you go. <laughs> Marty Cooper, not a name you're likely to be familiar with. His invention, well, billions of us most intimately are. The portable cell phone, embodied first in this handset built by Marty and his team at a nimble startup called Motorola. This two kilo hunk of heft was the culmination of years of work, a philosophical leap of faith away from the prevailing thinking by the industry giant Bell Labs and parent company AT&T, whose vision was simply to put cell phones in cars. For a hundred years, we had been trapped in our homes, leashed to our desk by this copper wire. Now was the time to set us free, and trapping us in our cars was not uh, an improvement. We had to create a dazzling demonstration, and that was the real reason. The real reason for creating this phone was to prove to the world that a little company like Motorola had credibility. Uh, and that's what we did in New York and in Washington. We did a, what turned out to be a dazzling uh, demonstration uh, that the time was ready for personal portable communications. And it was using a phone very similar to this. This is essentially a replica of what you used. That's correct. What did you say on that first mobile phone call? Well, I was talking to a journalist, just like you, and I tried to think of something. How disappointing. Yeah, <laughs> clever to do. To do. Uh, so I called my counterpart uh, at Bell Laboratories, a fellow named uh, Dr. Joel Engel, uh, a very bright guy, and he ran all the AT&T program, very important and responsible job. Uh, and I told him, Joel, it's Marty, and I'm calling you from a cell phone, but a real cell phone, a handheld, personal, portable cell phone. And there was silence at the other end of the line, and I'm That's certain... That's a bit worrying. Knowing Joel, I'm certain that he was...